Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode. I am doing a reaction video of the latest trailer released for Russian Fishing 4. It is the Yama River that will introduce fly fishing or potential fly fishing. And I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about this trailer and what we see in it. So this map, as you can see, is huge. There's a lot of open space. We can for the very first time ever see mountains in the background. We see this huge scenery. It's very pebbly, gravel, sort of like Bilea and Tunguska, middle of that. Now, the two things I want to talk to you about specifically, which is the main reason I'm doing this video, is because we've seen two things, or we are going to see two things in this trailer that we've never seen before in this game, and that is animations of animals. So pretty soon you will see a bear and its cub, a mama bear and its cub probably walking right here and we're gonna see fish swimming about doing their thing in the water there we go these two things we've never seen before in the game so i just wanted to do a shout out to the developers that uh, they're trying something new and i respect that you know um and that brings up a few questions let's start with the bears uh when we walk up to these bears will they just straight up disappear or is this a static animation and they will keep walking and, you know, can we just literally run right through them? Or will they actually react to us? Um, that's my first question. My second question is, the fish, the salmon that we saw swim in the water, will they react to us? If I throw my lure right in front of the salmon, will they, one, bite it? Will they have a chance of biting it? Or two, will they scare away and say swim away? Or three, will they just keep swimming? in a circle or in a you know like a static or predetermined animation like in fisher online uh where the fish will jump out of the water right in front of you it does not matter if you're fishing right in front of it or if you're driving a boat that fish is just an animation it does not exist in the world so will are these salmons like that or are they actually living and breathing or do they uh do they mean that you know the fish are active in this spot are they a marker because i believe in fishing planet they have something like this where you know uh trouts will jump out of the water in a specific area in a certain area and that uh that means it's an active spot and you should throw your lure there you have a higher chance of catching a fish so does this mean that i don't know but it's very, very exciting to finally see fish in water. It is a fishing game in the end, and we're supposed to you know, see that. Uh, the other thing is we see tents here. So guess what, guys? It's going to be super duper pooper expensive to buy anything here. So make sure you go to Volkov or whatever other map that have stock to buy your baits, your lures, your fly fishing equipment before you come to this map. It is annoying, but you know what? It's just a part of this game. Um, so that is pretty darn cool. Uh, my other observation when I saw this trailer was you can see there's a lot of shoreline and you can see the river is very shallow. Um, so my assumption is in order to catch fish, you're going to be you're going to have to cast really far. Uh, because it is so shallow, it feels like the fish are going to be further out into the river. So, you know, in Belea, I, ca I only cast, what, 7 meters? But I can still catch a lot of fish. I've caught, you know, trophy grayling there. See here, and see right at the bottom, there's gravel. It's so shallow. How can there be any fish here? But, that is fly fishing. And to debunk this, later on you will see salmon fish so close to the shore. So maybe you actually don't need to cast very far to catch fish. Maybe you can get away with your light rod setups and not having the ULs. But you know what? This map introduces fly fishing into the game. And who is not going to do fly fishing here? That, I think, is the biggest thing we are all looking forward to. I cannot wait if there is fly fishing coming into this game to check out fly, fly fishing. I don't know the prices of the setup. I don't know what level this is going to be unlocked at. Some people said this is going to be around Belea. Some people said this is going to be a level 32 map. I feel this is going to be a level 32 map because 
Delia is the low level version of this map by the looks of it. Um, the other thing is fly fishing should work at Bilia, it should work at Tunguska, it should be really good on those two maps. And it should potentially work in Winding Rivulet and anywhere else, I guess, where there's moving water or streams. I don't think fly fishing will be just locked to this map. So it will be very, very interesting to see what happens. I feel like it's going to be a huge amount of money sink. I feel all the flies... That you can buy are going to be expensive like 50 to 100 silver each and i feel like um their health is going to be very very little just how we use those rubber you know wacky worms or whatever to do catfishing and after you catch a few catfish like the lure is done it's it's gone so i feel like those flies are going to be the exact same health bar and I say this because in Fisher Online, it's the exact same thing. Uh, the flies don't have a whole lot of health. They deteriorate pretty fast. So I feel like this is going to be a huge money sink. I just pray and hope that we can catch a lot of good marker Fisher and we can make good money here. I don't want this to be like Bilea. You know, one hour you can make 300, 400 silver and then for the next five hours... You catch nothing you catch very little and i just don't want those two extreme ends i need a really really good balance where you can make a consistent amount of let's say 300 silver per hour or 200 silver per hour i just wish we can get a map like that and it's not just one hour you do amazing and then the next two hours you get nothing so that's going to be a whole lot of information from me a whole lot of questions and assumptions from me let me know in the comments what you think this uh, what level this will be at uh, released or unlocked at in the game let me know what types of fish live in Yama River in real life I want to know the big fish I feel like they're gonna throw taimans here just to destroy your setups I have no idea about uh, Yama River I've not done my research uh, so let me know what kind of fish there live there but there's salmons here, I can't wait. I love pink salmon from Tunguska. I see these red salmons and I just, oh my god, I get so happy. Um, please like the video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope, uh, I hope you are itching for this map just like I am. And subscribe below if you want to see more great content. I will 100% stream and cover this map when it comes out. So lots of, you know what? It, it's looking positive right now for RF4 with this map. Uh, you can see the mountains in the background, they don't look great, and I'm worried about that. I just hope when they do release, it does look good. Because we need the epic scenery that is Fisher Online. Fisher Online is the king of scenery in fishing games. And I hope this map does it too. It's a very pretty map, very spacious map. I really like that. And, <clears throat> and uh, let's see how it goes, guys. Thank you so much. For watching this video like subscribe and comment below like i mentioned before i will see you in the next one until the next time guys enjoy